All right, I just wanted to clarify a few things uh, about the tire changing videos I have on the on the YouTube. Um, this is the tire changer I'm using uh, from Harbor Freight. It's Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh Automotive. Um, it's okay. It works for me. So it was cheap. Look at that. Almost four stars out of five. Um, and it. Sorry if you can hear uh, snoring. Um, my son is uh, not feeling well. And he's sleeping right here. So that's him and our daughter. And uh, if you can hear a treadmill. I apologize for that too. My wife is on the treadmill. Um, she's one of those crazy runners. Uh, here she is uh, running at the... Uh, 2012 I think uh, Olympic trials for the marathon um, it's a pretty good race um, and actually she got hurt after this and uh, broke her fractured a bone in the foot or something and got fractured it twice fractured it once the screw broke fractured it again so uh, while she was recovering from that, she decided uh, she wanted to compete in some other way. And so she went after the um, Guinness World, World Record for crutching. The fastest 5-kilometer, uh, five 5K five uh, crutched. Um, so she actually holds the Guinness World Record for the fastest female five kilometer on crutches one leg that's pretty cool anyways so i'm just using the pictures um directly off the harbor freight website um there it is so the first thing i want to say is the palette that i used is a hardwood palette you don't want to use pine pine is light pine is flimsy um, the hardwood's going to be rigid and it's going to be heavier. Um, it'll work a lot better. And so when you lay your tire down um, on the changer to break the bead, you want to make sure that little triangle piece that's circled is um, on the on the inside of the rim, on the on the middle, so that when you push down. That, that wheel can't slide out. And you want to make sure that the arm that, 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 that breaks the bead is almost straight up and down, but kicked out slightly. And uh, those are the adjustments in the yellow and the blue um, that you can make. Mm -hmm for different heights and widths of tire um, if you have that thing angled slightly outward that triangle piece on the bottom will hold the hold the rim uh, won't let it kick out um, if you have it angled too far that's not going to work either if you angle in then it's going to slip um, I, I would suggest putting a piece of carpet on the on the bottom um, especially when you do the outside face of your rim uh, put a piece of carpet down and make sure that triangle piece fits into one of these holes in the side of the in 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 the wheel, if if possible. If not, it should still work. Um, when you secure the wheel to the mount mounter, um, you want to make sure you tighten that that um, that uh, threaded tube pretty tight so you, you put the wheel on that rod in blue goes through one of the lug holes uh, that piece in the yellow circle uh, goes on top and then you crank down on that tube um, if it's secure if it can't wobble you're okay but if it can wobble and you're when, when you're cranking the tire on that wheel will turn and push against that um, it'll try to rotate 
that pin's going to stop it from, ro from rotating. Um, but if it's loose, it's going to try to ride up on the pin a little bit, and you'll, you'll cause a bulge on the flat spot of your, of your wheel. If it's an aluminum wheel, if it's a steel wheel, you might be all right. Um, but if it's a it's a aluminum wheel, you're gonna end up with a with a bulge where that pin is pushing against uh, the side of the lug, and the lug is and the wheel is up off, not flush with that flat um, platform there. Um, and then you you'll have a little a little bump there, and then when you put it back on your on your car against the hub it's it's not going to sit flush you're going to have to grind it off or hammer it back in you want to make sure your wheel is secure it's not wobbly um all right now the ends of the uh, the rod the way i use this side this is the demounting side dismounting um i have that top side of the bar the way it sits in the picture uh, against the wheel and the bottom side against the tire. Um, I haven't read the directions, but I've tried it both ways, and this way seems to work better. All right, now this is the, I think, uh, one of the more um, difficult parts um, to figure out at first. Once you have it figured out, um, it's pretty easy. So that hook on the bottom hooks onto the wheel, and when you you want to push as much of the wheel, uh, the tire onto the wheel as you can, and then just to the right of where it's pushed down, you want to insert this um, tool the way it's pictured, and it's the way that head is made specifically made to turn clockwise and if you have it set up right and you turn it clockwise as you turn it that bead is going to naturally get pushed down into the wheel and all the time that you're cranking this wheel on you want to make sure the side opposite of the head of this bar is pushed down into the center of the wheel um, some wheels don't have a groove like a center deep groove but all wheels are going to be narrower in the middle um, you need you need all the help you can get with that the, the bead is made to sit right on the um well the bead of the tire is made to sit right on the i guess the bead seat of the wheel um it's a steel steel basically a giant steel cable inside the bead um if you try to force it you'll something's gonna give you'll you'll break the bead you'll stretch the bead or you'll break some of the um rubber uh where the bead is um you can't force it you're i know you're forcing it on but you got to make sure it's not sitting on the bead while you're forcing it on because uh you're gonna break something um just practice take an old old tire off crank the old tire back on um do that a couple times, uh, figure it out. You definitely don't want to save money. Try to save money buying this uh, self-mounter thing um, just to ruin your, your brand new tire. Um, the, the, lube, the lube I'm using is a Dawn dish soap with some water. Um, and when you get it, when you're mounting the tire, the new tire, don't use too, too much. You don't want to get liquid inside the wheel, uh, inside the tire. That's going to cause corrosion issues in the future. Um, you'll be driving um, maybe a year later. You're going to have slow leaks because there's moisture inside the tire. It's causing corrosion and, and it's going to leak at the beads. 
Um, so I think that's it. Uh, the future, maybe I will go ahead and uh, maybe do a close up of what I'm make a close up video of what I'm doing. Um, but I have all four tires on right now, are on right now, and there's probably going to be another three or four years before I, I put new ones on on it. Um, maybe if I do my sister-in-law's uh, tires, I'll, I'll make a video of it. But all right, thank you. Hope it helps.